Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a rounding decimals worksheet from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for math drills types worksheets. They have tons of great content there, and I also have playlists for their worksheets. So make sure to check them out. They have lots of great resources, like I said, and I make tutorial videos for them. So this particular video is on rounding. And the first thing we need to know about rounding is how to identify all the places. If you want to pause the screen, this is a great kind of uh, start. This would be great for notes if you want to see what do we call these different place values. Place values. So the first thing you'll know is we have this ones place. Okay, the ones place is before the decimal place. There's the decimal. The ones place is kind of like the halfway point. And let me kind of describe what that means. So to the left of this point, we have the tens place. And then of course, we'd have the hundreds place that would be 312 that number right there. Okay, so you already knew that. But to the right of it, you'll notice that there's no once place, it starts with the tenths place. Okay, so we have tens to the left of the ones place. And then to the right of the decimal, there's the decimal, we have the tenths place. Notice how all these have THS at the end of it. Okay, so how does it go? It goes tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, and then ten thousandths place. Now, quick uh, little summary of how do we read numbers. You first say the number to the left of the decimal. So in this case, it would be 12. Then you say and, okay, so 12 and. Then you read this number as if it were by itself to the right of the decimal. So you look at the no number by itself, and this is 3,456. Imagine if that's by itself. Okay, so we would say 3,456, and then you give it the label. The label is the last digit, so that's ten thousands. The last number is the ten thousands. So you would say 3,456, ten thousands. In total, you would say 12 and 3,456, ten thousands. And that's how you say it. So now that we know the places, or if you want, go back and rewind and get an understanding of those places, let's apply how do we round. Let's take this number, two point. 39 or 2 and 39 hundredths. Let's say we wanted to round this number to the nearest tenths place. So there's the tenths place. How do we do that? Well, we first identify the tenths place. Boom, it's right there. Okay, so if you didn't know where it was, we've identified it. There's the tenths place. The next thing we do is we look to the number to the right of the tenths place. So the number to the right is a 9. Okay, now this nine is important because it will tell it tell us what to do with this tens place. Since it's a nine, we're gonna round up. That's what this little chart tells us. We're gonna round up. So we're gonna take this three, the tens place, and we're gonna change it and round it up. So if we're gonna round to the tens place, it would become two point, instead of writing the three, rounds up because the nine is big and it rounds it closer to 2.4. And that's how we round, okay? Because the reason why we change it to the four instead of leaving it at the three is because the nine gets us closer to 2.4 than it would otherwise be to 2.3. Imagine if we have like a decimal line here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We have a decimal place here and we have these different decimals, 2.31. Technically 2.3 is 2.30, but 2.39 is clearly closer to 2.4 then it is to 2.3, okay? So that's why we round up. So let me erase this. We don't need any more of that. We're gonna erase that. And now let's round to a different number. Let's say we wanted to round to the nearest whole number, okay? Whole number is another name for the ones place. So we need to identify the whole number or the ones place, and that is there, okay? For emphasis, I'm underlining it also in case you don't have a highlighter. And again, what am I doing? I'm looking to the number to the right. So the number to the right is a three. The three is not big enough to round it up, okay? It's closer to two than it is to three, the 2.3 is. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna round down. So if we're gonna round down, what does that mean? It means we're gonna just keep the number the same. So if we're rounding down, we're just gonna write two, okay? So this two stays the same because that three is not big enough to round it up. I've seen students make mistakes where they change it to 2.4 because, or they leave it as 2.3 because they're just trying to keep this whole number the same. Don't be doing that. If it's asking for a whole number, the last digit you should be writing is the whole, the ones place. If it's asking for the tenths, the last digit you should be writing is the tenths place. So that's just a little helpful hint. Now let's go ahead and get started. 
So we have here, we're gonna start with number one, and that's a whole number. So we're gonna identify the whole number, and it's zero. Again, we should only be writing a number that goes to the whole number's place. We shouldn't be writing like 7.23, whatever. We only should be writing a whole number here for our answer. So again, we need to identify the whole number place, the ones place. We're gonna look to the right. If it's a four or less, which this is the case, we round down. What does that mean? We just keep this number the same. So we're gonna write it as zero and we're done. That's it, no more, okay? So pretty simple. Let's do a couple more. Actually, a lot more. I think we'll have time. If you don't, just fast forward to what you need and then get out of here. But you're welcome back anytime. I try, try to get you out of here. I just want to be efficient with our time. So the tens place. We're going to highlight the tens place or underline it. Okay, that's the tens place, the first one after the decimal place. And we're going to look to the right. Again, the two is not big enough. The two is too small, so that means we're going to round down, which means we're just going to write zero for the tens place. Okay, 6.0, we need to write everything to the left of it also. We're gonna drop anything to the right, in this case the two, and there's no other digits there, but we just leave it. We just wanna write to the tens place, and 6.0 is our final answer. Okay, 6.0, that's rounded to the nearest tens place. Whole number, let's take a look at this one. There's the whole number place, one. We're gonna look to the right, and we see it's a six. Remember, six plus, we're gonna round up. Now, a common mistake I see is, oh, this becomes 6.7. No, we're rounding to the whole number place. We shouldn't be writing decimals after 6.7. So what do we round up? We round up this whole number. That means we turn it to a seven and that's it. We're done. We don't write 7.0, we don't write 7.1 or 6.7, it's just seven. Let's go on to 100th. This is one we haven't seen yet. 100th is right there. There's a 100th place. We look to the right, it's a two, so guess what? We just keep it the same, 0 0.20, and we drop anything. Rounding down essentially means we're gonna drop anything to the right of our place. So our place is 100th, we're gonna drop this two here, any other numbers that we had, we would also drop. Okay, so if it is 0 0.02976, okay, really big decimal there. But if, again, if we're just rounding to the 100th place, we only care about this two. We don't care about any of those other numbers. The two's not big enough, so guess what? It still would be 0 0.20. The last digit we write is the hundredth place, and we drop everything else, okay? That's essentially what rounding down is, is you're gonna drop all those other things, and you're gonna keep that place that's in the place value the same. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead to some maybe thousands or something, so let's go ahead over to the next column, and here's one. We got thousands for number 12. Where's that? That's the eight. We're gonna look to the right here. The two is not big enough, so we're gonna keep this the same and we're gonna drop that two. 5.218 is our answer there. Thousands for this one. Let me get rid of the highlighter. Here's the thousands. We look to the right. We see it's a seven. That means we're gonna round up, okay? So we're gonna write 5.69. The number that we underline is the one that we round up or keep the same for rounding down. Seven. 5.697 uh, 5 would be our answer there, okay? We don't care about that seven. You don't keep it there. You just get rid of it. I want to see one that we round. Aha, uh -huh. this is one I wanted to take a look at. Oh, no, not this one. I want one where the place we're trying to round is, in fact, a nine. Okay, great. So, number 20. This is the last one I want, I want to do. We're going to identify our place. Okay, I said I was going to underline. Here we go. There's our place. We look to the right of our place. It's a five. That means we need to round up. So we have 9.3, what's above nine? We don't write a 10, so what we do, if this is a nine, is it's like a double round, okay? This five tells the nine to round up. It has nowhere to go, so we need to essentially bump up this three instead. Think of it this way, okay? If we were to round this down, it would be 9.39. But if we wanna round it up, that means we need to increase it to another uh, digit, okay? The 39 can't go up any higher, so we have to take it to 40. So normally, again, if this were 9.385, and we round it to the nearest hundredth, this would change to 9.39. But since it's already 9.39, with that five, nine there, okay, we are gonna bump up this nine to become a 10, which increases that three. So 9.40, and again, the last digit we should write is that hundredth, 
we don't care about those other digits past it anymore, and it stays at 9.40. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out my Math Drills playlist. If you need help with any of these other questions, leave a comment, I can help you. I can also make videos on any other topic. Just leave a comment on what type of topic you need help with and I can make you a video. Either way, I look forward to see you next time right here on West Explains Best.